More than half of Kenya's urban population, approximately 4 million people, live in informal settlements, also known as urban slums. With rapid urbanization on the rise, this number could double by 2020. Often disregarded, urban slum residents lack access to basic social services and live a life fraught with poverty, violence, sickness, inequality, and marginalization. For a slum resident, life becomes a cycle of basic survival, void of a path for social or economic upward mobility. Growing up in Kibera, one of the largest slums in Africa, Kennedy Odede experienced extreme poverty, violence, lack of opportunity, and deep gender inequality. Odede also dreamed of transforming urban slums from the inside out. He took these dreams seriously and turned them into reality. Kennedy Odede started Shofko as a teenager in 2004 with 20 cents and a soccer ball. In 2009, Odede officially incorporated Shofko as a non-profit with his wife and working partner, Jessica Posner Odede, by opening Kibera's first free school for girls. We saw ourselves as a tiny candle shining in the middle of the, of the slum. And I remember we were like, you know what? People will see what we're doing if we keep on focusing and believing in togetherness. Despite tribal differences that happen in Kenya, we can show the world that when people come together, no matter their background, if you come together in that community, you can transform it. Shafko was started by young people who had an idea for what life could look like that was different. And they saw the potential, but they also saw the problems, but they experienced them themselves. And today, really, what Shafko does is Shafko is building a model to transform urban slums. And it's doing this in, in three ways. First, I think it's really taking this knowledge that you have to rupture survival mode. If people are surviving day to day caught by a crisis, so their child is sick, you know, they can't pay school fees, something catastrophic happens, they're consumed by that crisis. So what Shafko does is provide services that really rupture that cycle of survival mode. So our services are healthcare, clean water, economic empowerment programs. Services that really take away that day-to-day, -day, how do I get through this day question. Shafko is one of the first local organizations to whom the prize has gone. This is a Kenyan born and bred organization that grew out of the slums of Kibera here in Nairobi. Urbanization is one of the biggest problems the world is going to face in the next 20, 30 years. And this prize is recognizing that there has to be a global focus on this issue, but the way to solve it isn't to fly in from the outside, isn't to kind of sit in boardrooms, but it's to really engage the people who are impacted by this issue, and then to build models for service delivery, for leadership from the inside out. We never thought of it that one day we're gonna win this big award, the biggest in the world. And we are really humbled to know that community action, grassroots work can be really recognized internationally. From the very first meeting inside an iron sheet shack to the launch of the Shofko Urban Network, a community organizing platform. Shofko is a community-driven grassroots movement that is providing a pathway out of poverty to hundreds of thousands of people.